So guys, in this video, we'll be implementing another amazing project called Real-Time Face Detection System. So here I'm going to use OpenCV for this. Uh, so before starting this project, actually, I'm going to tell you like uh, how actually this uh, face detection works. Uh, so what should be the algorithm approach to detect your face? Okay. Uh, then I will start with the implementation. So guys, whenever we define any kinds of uh, human faces, so it has actually 68 landmarks point. So as you can see, these are the 68 landmarks point actually it has. All right. So this is a human face. And based on that, these are the 68 landmarks point you can see. Based on that, actually, your uh, face detection algorithm works. So basically, it will try to identify these landmarks, whether these landmarks are matching or not. Uh, so if it is matching, then at that time, your algorithm will define this is a human face, okay? Because if you consider any kinds of face, let's say any, any kinds of animal face, so you won't be map this uh, 68 landmarks on that animal face. Okay, it's not possible. It is only possible on the human face itself. Okay, that is why uh, it will first of all verify whether these 68 landmarks po points are there or not. If it is there, then it will consider as a human face. Okay, now if I show you clearly this uh, 68 landmarks. So see guys, these are the 68 landmarks uh, it has. So this is the complete face structure. This is the eye landmarks. Again, this is the eye landmarks. This is the left and this is the right one. This is the nose one. Okay, and this is the mouth one. All right, so that's how you have 68 landmarks point are available here. So whenever we try to define any kinds of, uh, let's say, face detection algorithm, it will first of all map this uh, 68 landmarks on the face. Then if it is matching, then it will try to detect this face as a human face. Otherwise, it won't be detected. Okay, so this is the simple high level overview I can give you like how this uh, face detection works. Now, what I will do, I will try to implement this thing with the help of OpenCV in Python. Okay then uh, you will be able to uh, detect your face as a real time. So here actually I'm going to show you the real time face detection one. So here we'll be launching up our web camera and uh, live actually will be detecting our face. Okay. So guys, uh, instead of talking too much, let's start with our implementation. So before that, what I will do, I will first of all launch my VS code, then I will start write the code. So guys, I have launched my VS code. Now here, first of all, what I will do, uh, I will create one file uh, called requirement.txt. So let's create it. Require requirements.txt so it will contain uh, all the requirements actually i need for this project so the first requirement i need uh, is opencv okay so opencv python uh, so this is the uh, uh, i mean uh, package you need to install if you search on google uh, opencv python pypy so you will get the command See, this is the command, but I will uh, add it in my requirement. That's why I will copy it in this point. Then I will open my, yeah, requirements. And here you need to paste it. That's it. Okay. Now let's open my terminal and let me first of all install this package. So click install. So make sure you have created virtual environment. So I have already created virtual environment here. Okay. So now let me install, pip install, type r requirement.txt so it's around uh, 38 mb let's wait so guys my requirement has been installed successfully now uh, let me create one file here or main.py okay now to test it whether it is uh, successfully installed or not so first of all let me import opencv so to import opencv just write cv2 all right now let me select the environment actually uh, the environment actually i'm using currently yeah all right now let me just execute this uh, main.py python main.py it should run perfectly yeah it ran that means uh, package has been installed successfully now uh, what i need to do uh, I need one uh, like uh, algorithm as I already told you because uh, if you want to detect the face you need an algorithm okay so here actually again I'm going to use uh, her cascade algorithm her cascade model I think I already created uh, another project called uh, like number plate detection uh, so there actually I showed you like how to use her cascade model and from where actually you can download this so I already downloaded another her cascade model and this is the model for the face detection so first of all let me just uh, move this uh, model here okay 
So this is my project folder. So here I will be creating one folder called model. And inside that, I will just paste this our cascade model I downloaded. Okay. Now, how to download this model? Again, just copy the name and uh, just go to Google and search for this. Okay. And just write download. So you will get one GitHub link. So in this GitHub, actually, all the models should be presented. Okay. See, this is the uh, hard cascade uh, frontal face uh, default okay xml so this is the hard cascade model see guys this is the hard, -core, hard -coded model and already resources have uh, developed for you so you don't need to change anything here you can directly use it okay and not only that see you have lots of hard cascade model are there okay based on your task actually you can select from here now uh, that's how actually you can get the model but i will uh, provide this model with you okay in the description section so you can check it there now what i will do uh, let me go back to my yeah, VS code. Now here I already moved my model as you can see in the model folder. Now, first of all, let's uh, define one variable called uh, our cascade model. Our cascade. So this is my model inside models. I have this one. I'll just copy the path and I'll paste it here. So I only need this path. Okay. Yeah. Model slash our cascade. Uh, this is the XML, okay, this model. Now, I need to open up my camera. So I'll take one variable called cap and I'll just write cv2 dot video capture and it will take the camera ID. So I'll give zero. It will access my web camera. But if you're using laptop, so uh, it will occupy your laptop camera because for me, I have just configured zero would be my web camera, okay? But if you're using, uh, inbuilt laptop camera so it will open up the laptop camera for you okay no issue but if you want to access your second camera so just give one here all right now i need to also set the camera window so i'll just write cap uh dot set the index is nothing but your width okay like uh, what should be the screen width so i want my width as 640 all right so this is the width let me write here width all right and again i'll just write cap dot set four four should be your height okay and uh this window i'll be taking uh 480 this is my height okay yeah now what i will do i will define one while loop uh y is equal to two so guys inside that first of all i need to read my camera frame one by one okay and it will return two things one is the status and one is the frame okay so if it is reading successfully that means the status would be true otherwise it would be false okay so for this i will define two variable for success and another was your image frame all right now i'll just write cap dot read so it will return me my frame and this uh, status okay now once i get my frame uh, I think you remember first of all what I need to do. I need to load this hard cascade model. So to load this hard cascade model, just call cv2 cv2 dot cascade classifier. Yes, inside cascade classifier, I'll give this model. So it will load my model, and this model I need to store in a variable. So I'll name this variable as uh, face cascade. Okay, let's give face cascade cascade. Okay. Now it will uh, load my model. Now what I need to do, I think you remember, I first of all uh, need to convert my uh, RGB image to grayscale image, okay? Because uh, this hard cascade model accept grayscale image format. All right. So to do, do it, I'll take one variable called image gray equal to um, here. I'll just write cb2 dot uh, convert color cbt color, and here. I'll pass my image I got and uh, color uh, BGR to gray. Okay, so this is the converter I need to convert. Now, yeah, I think it's fine. Now, let me check whether I'm able to do it or not. So, for this, first of all, uh, uh, let me open my camera. So, I'll just write cv2 dot I am show. So, I need to give the window name. I'll just give face. And uh, here, I just need to pass my image frame. Okay, I'm getting that's it. And uh, after opening the camera, you, you also need to close the camera. So, how to close it? So, this is the default OpenCV code. So, if you press uh, the 
if you press like Q from the keyboard, so it will automatically uh, close the window, camera window for you. Okay. So here uh, it has defined CP2 dot wait key, and this is the uh, like ID of the Q. Okay. If you press Q, so this ID will be matched, and at that time this loop would be break. Okay, and your camera would be closed. So this is the simple code. Now let's uh, check it whether it is able to convert my image frame to grayscale or not. Okay. So for this, uh, what I will do first of all, let me close the camera I'm using in the recording and then I would be able to access the camera. Okay, now let me execute this main.py and see. So I'll just write python main.py. Okay, it's not running because I need to save it. Now let me execute. Uh, so guys, you can see it has opened my camera, but uh, again, it, I'm getting like RGB miss, uh, RGB video because uh, one mistake I did here. So let me first of all close this camera. See if you press Q from the keyboard, see it will uh, close the camera. Now here, instead of giving this image frame, okay, I need to give this image gray one because uh, this is my original frame, right? And this is the converted one. Now I'll give this image gray one. Now let me save it. And again, I will open my terminal and let me execute. So, guys, now you can see it has again opened my camera. Now it is uh, completely black and white. That means grayscale image. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's completely fine. Now, what I will do, I will apply the face detection algorithm right now and let's see whether it is able to detect or not. Okay. So, let me just close the camera. I'll just press Q from the keyboard. Yeah. All right. Now, to detect the face, uh, first of all, I need to get the face coordinate. Okay. So if I again show you, see, I need to get, get the face coordinate. So how it will return the face coordinate. So basically whenever you try to apply these kinds of uh, detection algorithm, it will try to identify these landmarks. And if this landmarks is matching, that means this is the face. So it will return uh, four coordinate points. Okay. So basically it will uh, create one bounding box here. This is a face. So this four coordinates is nothing but uh, this is a X, okay, X point, and this is the Y point, and width and height, okay. So this uh, uh, four actually points it will return, and if I get these four points, then I will be uh, able to create this bounding box on the face, okay, and I, I will be able to tell uh, it has detected the face, and this is the bounding box, okay, of the face. So that is what I just need to do. So for this, what I will do, uh, I will take one variable called face. Then I will call my face cascade. All right. Now here you have one method called detect multi scale. Okay. So this is the method. And inside that, I just need to pass my uh, image gray image. Okay. This one. Uh, because uh, it will apply on my grayscale image. Now here you just need to set two parameters. So by default, just keep it 1.1. Uh, and four okay so this uh, uh, two parameter you just need to give here so once i do it so first of all it will apply those 68 landmarks okay and it will try to identify the landmarks and if it is matching then it will return you like four uh, uh coordinate I, as i already told you x y and w and uh your h okay so these four coordinates i'll be looping through so i'll just write uh, for uh x y then uh, w and h in face then once i get it i'll just call cv2 dot rectangle all right and if you want to create rectangle so what it will take it will take first of all your image like which image you want to create the rectangle i want to create on my original image and you need to specify the location okay so the first location is the minimum location so it should be x and y x and y coordinate and the maximum location so it should be x plus x plus w and uh, y plus h okay so basically what will happen so what happens actually it takes two points one is like this points okay x uh, if you consider this is a uh, two axis coordinate so this is x axis this y axis so x and y and uh, x plus w and y plus h okay so the, the location should be here so if i get these two points then i can create one rectangle uh, point here okay rectangle box here that is why i need this two uh, location okay to create this rectangle uh, here on my face 
Now, once I create the rectangle, uh, I also need to specify the color. Okay, so what should be the color? So let's define the color. So color I will be taking. Uh, let's take green color. So I think you know like how to take the color. So if you write at the middle position 255, uh, I, I think it should be 255. So this should be the green color because it should be RGB. Okay, R and uh, B I have defined as zero because th th this color I don't want. I only want the uh, green color. Okay, that's why I have activated this one. Now I also need to define the thickness of the boxes. So uh, let's give it as two. Okay. Now once it is done. Uh, I think yeah, my face detection is ready now because see it's well, like very easy to create this face detection using OpenCV. Only you just need to understand like how this uh, hard cascade works, okay, and how this for loop works actually. Okay, that's it. Now let's uh, test it whether it is able to detect my face or not. So now instead of showing this uh, grayscale image, I want to show this original image one because on the original image I am uh, like creating this rectangle, right? Now let's do it. Yeah. Now I'll execute my code. So guys, I think you can see uh, it is detecting my face. Now let's uh, move to the camera. Now see, it's creating this rectangle box. And let's see if I move also, uh, it is still able to detect my face, okay? So uh, we are able to do it, okay? Now see, uh, it's uh, detecting real time. Uh, yes, okay, it's detecting real time. So yes guys, uh, this is the project actually I just wanted to show you using OpenCV. See using OpenCV you can do lots of things. Uh, just you need to understand the pattern like how to do it. Okay. Now see I have showed you lots of uh, like uh, hard cascade model. Now try to pick up and try to apply this technique. Okay. And try to create different different project with that. So yes guys, uh, this is the project. I hope you like this project a lot. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.